So it's Egypt against Hong Kong in this first of the two semi-finals. Who opens up the scoreboard once again? 8-5 in this first game. Oh, that's a fantastic finish, though. Yeah, oh, Lily just missing the angle on it. Yeah, good pressure from El Walili to get that serve back. There's been a couple of moments in the first two games, Vanessa Wood in one point on the scoreboard. Oh, that's going to be too good, though. It's not exactly a bad serve either, but that's a fantastic finish from Raneem Al Walili, who takes the opening rubber for Team Egypt. In 24 minutes, she takes that first match, 11-8, 11-8, 11-9. It's an interesting way that these events can unfold. Isn't it? Nine, well, that's another slick finish from Shabini. No left. Gives Annie out the edge. What a brilliant finish to that third game from Annie Ao. And in nine minutes, she takes that all important game 11 9. Oh, what a great finish. A great way for the match to finish there. It was a classy performance once again from Annie Ao. So accurate and so clinical in that fifth and final game. And a well-deserved win for the team Hong Kong. Very, very dominant fifth, fifth game there. In just six minutes, Annie Ao takes that. And the match, 11-7, 8-11, 11-9, 10-12, 11-3 in 52 minutes. Well, Taya just having too much firepower. In these last few rallies, restores all. <laughs> Dinky little drop shot there. They're obviously enjoying themselves on there, which is good to see. I thought she might go for another one yeah, there. Yeah, I did. <laughs> and that's not made the front wall. Well, it was difficult to see any other outcome to that match. But Noor El Tayeb looking very relaxed, but also very businesslike on there. Dispatching of Lee Ka Yi in three very straightforward games. In just 20 minutes, Noor El Tayeb books Egypt to place in the final with an 11-6, 11-5, 11-6 victory. So this semi-final is England against France. As you see, knocking up on court now is Sarah Jane Perry and Colleen Omard. So they're at number two string, kicking things off.
good uh, improvisation from Sarah Jane Perry. Brilliant use of the wrist. Sending the ball into the side wall. Great it's use of the height. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a brilliant lob, wasn't it, by uh, it didn't Perry? It deserve that, did it? It was a lovely volley lob. Can she secure this at the first opportunity? And it's an error from Milmard. And that will be a huge relief to Sarah Jane Perry and the England team as they take this all-important first tie against the French. Very well taken drop shot. Really cut down the back of that ball there, Camille Serm. Got nice and low. Took it in very That's quickly. Whatsoever, and she read it very quickly. Well, if, if there's one thing that Camille Serm can't allow to happen, is a loss of concentration because Laura Massaro is breathing down her neck here. And there's another point back from Massaro. Almost uh, identical to this fourth so yeah. far this game. Well, that no let confirms it. Camille Serm with a fist pump there. She was made to work very, very hard in that match. It was a good performance from Laura Massaro. Some really, really accurate stuff. But Camille Serm just built some unassailable leads in that third, and, uh, fourth and fifth game. So it keeps the French hopes alive in this match, this semi-final match. And in 53 minutes, Camille Serm takes that match 9-11, 11-8, 9-11, 11-8, 11-7. Nelson Waters moves on on the scoreboard. Opens up a 5-2 lead here in the first. Oh, brilliant finish though there. Really held a space. Came down the back of the ball. Straight ball working really well for Alison Waters. Alves over committing to the cross court. That right smile from Waters. She would have been delighted to see that ball clip the top of the tin. Can she put it away on a second attempt? Too loose down that right side. And that stroke gives Alison Waters and England the deciding tie. And they will progress for a huge battle against Egypt tomorrow. But it was a good effort in that third game, in particular from Melissa Alves. She really started to attack and find a range. But it was Alison Waters who sees it across the line. 11-6, 11-3, 12-10 in just 26 minutes.